Discretion is advised. What's up, y'all? Welcome to a brand new episode of American Truck Simulator. Today, we're back exploring the Colorado DLC, and we are using the Western Star 49X uh, day cab truck, and we're going to be hauling one of SCS's brand new lowboy trailers that are now available for trailer ownership. There are a couple different customization options for the trailer, and we are going to be kind of showcasing those off in the next couple episodes or so. Um, I do have a bunch of other SCS software trailers and a bunch of other modded trailers to show off and all that fun stuff as well. And that's kind of weird because it told me to put my drop off as here and now it's telling me to go over there. I guess when you exit out of the game on an external contract and then you end up having to um, redo your load, uh, redo your drop, interesting. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and go over there. We'll go ahead and get loaded up and um, meet you guys once we're done. Okay, so here we are all loaded up. We got some cables coming out of the uh, Costco here for some unknown reason, but they do have cables at the Costco. I'm going to go ahead and pull up a little bit so we can do our uh, pre-trip inspections here. And at least that parking brake. Pull up just a tad bit. There we go. Looks like the flashers are working. Our beacons are working as well. Let's go and test out the trailer brakes here. Looks like they are working as well. Alright, so here we go. SCS owned low boy trailer. Got that nice little Colorado license plate on it too. Loving the beacon setup on the rear that we got over here as well. As well as we got a Sunbelt rental skin on our 49X. Now I know Sunbelt probably wouldn't be hauling these types of loads. But I figured, you know, um, it's a rental. So I kind of made it seem like they would be renting out their trucks. Even though I know exactly what Sunbelt rentals is. And they probably wouldn't be, but I don't know. I've only seen them haul like uh, different equipment and stuff. But you never know. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. Who knows? Um, one of the things I don't know if I've just overlooked it in the last time we used this truck, but if you guys can look on the mirrors, we actually do have the turning signals for the Western Star on the mirrors. Now, I don't know if that was brought in in an update or if I was just overlooking that the last time we used the truck, but I'd never noticed that. And I think that that's actually pretty, pretty cool. So we're going to be turning over here somewhere. I got a car over there, so we're not going to worry about that. There we go. And we got a couple uh, vehicles coming over there, so we're going to go ahead and wait our turn. Alright, so we're finally back out on the open road over here. Had to kind of pull off and adjust my mirrors because they were atrocious. Okay, so it looks like cross traffic doesn't stop, but yet we do. I'm going to pull up just a little bit so we can see traffic from that right side over there. And see, this is exactly what I hate in this game. And that's when um, you pull up just a little bit off of the line or whatever, and then traffic just randomly stops for you. Like, that's, that's one of the things I absolutely hate. And that is because, yes, you can stop for me, dude. I, don't, I appreciate it, but I'm not going to be able to make that turn with you stop in the middle of the intersection like that. Like, my trailer is going to hit you. Uh, I think we're going over... Yeah, we're going over here on this bay right here. Or this little turn around, turnabout. We got that yield sign, so we'll go ahead and take care of that. But we are all good. Look at that little AMR ambulance. That's cool. A little 4 Transit. That's awesome. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be taking a left. So I'm going to go ahead and get in the left-hand lane here. Make sure nobody is in our mirror. Perfect. Hopefully we can hit this green light here. So we've got a right-away truck. Go on. All right, yeah, we got this. Cool, cool, cool. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. A nice Tuesday. I'm actually off today, and I'm, I work the next two days, and I'm off Friday, so 
kind of a different schedule for me, but it is decent nonetheless. Okay, I think we're turning left up here, it looks like. Yep. Make sure we get our trailer all up in this turning lane, which I'm pretty sure we will. So for the different options for this trailer, there is a single, which we have. There's a double, which adds a support to the back. And there's also a triple, which adds it to the front and the back. Um, there's also a 45 foot, which is what we have. And there's also a 50 foot option for the trailer as well. And then we also have the rear there. Or like we have the beacons and stuff. There's two different options for that as well. I decided to go with this one because I think this one actually looks the best. Um, but we will be showing off the other other options as well. Soon enough. Okay. So one of the things, though, about this uh, truck, the Western Star, for some reason, like, whenever I updated to the 1.39 beta, it wasn't showing up in-game. Like, it was not showing up as a truck that I can purchase and I'm thinking okay so did I is there a mod in there that's conflicting with it because I didn't have any Western Star in the game or any Western Star mods either so I'm like okay what is conflicting with it um nothing so I ended up taking out all my truck mods and nothing that I can see was conflicting and it still wasn't showing up so I tried looking up the support forms and there was nothing absolutely nothing come on man this light is long but yeah there was absolutely nothing so i'm like you know what let me go try to visit the dealership again and see maybe it's just a glitch where i won't be able to purchase it online and nope so supposedly whenever i updated to the beta for some reason me going to um checking it out like you know show or uh discovering the uh, dealership supposedly the dealership was not discovered so that's why it wasn't popping up so I'm like I'm trying to freak out because I'm like is my game broken like do I have to uninstall and reinstall it or something because it's not coming up and then it's like okay like um, did I do something wrong is my game broken am I gonna have to get rid of all my mods and reinstall everything one by one again but luckily that's not the case Thankfully, that is not the case. We're going to make this right on red here since they pretty much have a red light too now. Got it. We got it. Okay, but a little bit about the truck here today. We do have a 500 and or a 600 horsepower Detroit diesel engine. Although it's not something to gripe about because the sound on the truck, the sound for the Jake brake actually does kind of suck. It is default SCS, so there you go. All right, man, I'm getting sick and tired of the red lights. Hopefully we can get on the highway soon, which it looks like we are. But yeah, that 600 horsepower engine, uh, we do have an 18 speed with a retarder. And if you guys are wondering about the Sunbelt um, skin, or the Sunbelt Rentals, I will have a link down in the description down below for you guys if you do want to check that out. And I did forget to mention where we were actually at. Um, we are actually in um, Colorado Springs, and we are going to be heading down to Rangley, Colorado to the gallon oil over there. And we are hauling 37,000 pounds of cables, so an even load today, so not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, it is a little bit of a longer load, and what is this? Stop here on red, green. Okay, that's cool, though. I've never actually seen that before. I've seen those in Chicago, like when you're entering the interstate and stuff, but I've never actually seen them in this game, so that is pretty cool. That is honestly pretty cool. So there's a state law, move over law, move over for slowed, blah, blah, blah. I know, keep right, something about that. Slower traffic, keep right. Colorado Springs has been discovered. Nice, nice, nice. Um, but yeah, that is actually pretty cool. I've never seen this, the uh, traffic lights here to uh, get on the highway. I've never seen that in this game before. So that's new. That's awesome, though. That is pretty, pretty cool. 
But yeah, also, I don't know if it's just Colorado or what the deal is, but um, loads for the Low Boy trailer are not too many because I was in two different cities before I came up here to Colorado Springs and there was no loads for the Low Boy trailer on the external market, like at all. So I went up to Colorado Springs and I actually found one, just one load for it, which is the one we're hauling now cables. And that is why we're heading up to Wrangley, Colorado. And we're coming into Denver, so we have just discovered Denver. Even though we haven't really discovered it, we have discovered it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get on the cruise control here. There we go, nice. But yeah, Colorado DLC, hands down top of the line DLCs as of right now for SCS software. They really outdid themselves with this one. It tops Idaho. It tops all the other DLCs as well. At least in my opinion. But check this out, man. This looks cool. So Denver is actually above the interstate, which is different. That's kind of cool, unless those are like railroads as well, but that's kind of cool. Um, so we're slowing down to a 55 through here as we get into the city limits. Yeah, Jake Brake ain't really much anything to gripe about either. Um, same with like the truck sounds. You do got those default SES sounds um, in there. Looking for a sound pack. I know Kirchbaum has a sound pack, so I might end up trying to reinstall his into the game, but I don't think he has it for all trucks. I might, if I'm not mistaken, I think he doesn't, but I could be mistaken. Um, better late than dead. I mean, that's true. Kind of harsh, but that's true. Um, so I might have saw there. I found a couple other uh, sound packs for these uh, engine sound mods. So I've been trying to test them out, see if they work and stuff, and see how better they sound. It looks like we're getting off up here. Okay, so we're going to exit right up here, it looks like. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be heading down towards uh, Grand Junction on 70 West. I believe that's where we're going is Grand Junction. Yep, so we are going the right way. Looks like he's getting on his brakes over there, so we're going to go ahead and get on our um, brakes here as well. Man, oh man, oh man. We got no cars behind us, which is nice. Man, oh man. Yeah, um, hey, it looks like we had a clear on the highway. Cool. Alright, so it is 55 still, looks like, on 70 West. Minimum is 40. That's different because in Illinois, the minimum is 45. Right lane ends. That's nice. So we're going to get up behind here. And I don't want to be uh, tailgating this guy. I really don't want to be tailgating this guy. So we're going to go ahead and get in this lane here. And we're going to go ahead and pass him a little bit. Because it looks like he's slowing down for this curve. And I think we're going to be able to make this curve no problem. Which it looks like we did, so. So it turned into a four lane, now it's going to be turning back into a three lane. Or two lane, it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and get in this right lane here. Looks like we got a guy hauling triples. There we go. This dude's hauling triples, man, that's cool. You go, trucker, you go. Going a little bit slow for hauling triples, but it's expected. Trying to make sure we clear him before he can kind of get back in this line here. There we go. And we are back up to a 65 here. So we're going to be going 65. Right now we're going about 55 or, or about 50, about 50 miles an hour ish or so. But look at this, man. This is beautiful. Just out here outside of Denver. There's Streamboat Springs, which is another city we can actually explore. Um, slower traffic, keep right. Definitely will do. Definitely will do. 
But although, like I was saying, I didn't want to be uh, tailgating that truck back there. That's one of the things I honestly do hate about driving. Is that the people that actually, you know, sit there and tailgate you. Like, I'm going, like, I usually drive the speed limit. If I don't, I'll drive five over the speed limit. Like, our interstates on in Illinois are 70 for the most part. So, you know, I'll go 70. Or I'll even go, like, 75. Like, the top I'll go is 75. Normally, I don't go that fast on the interstate. The highest I'll go is, like, 72, 73-ish in that range. Kind of bounce back and forth because of the cruise control. But I typically don't go any faster than 70 on the speed limit if I'm driving. Uh, granted, in our vans, they're governed at 70, so I can't go any faster. Sometimes it will fluctuate up to 75, but that's about it. Then it'll slowly get back to its original uh, speed. But, yeah, I do hate tailgaters, man. And look at this. A par something national forest. And it looks like we're slowing down up here. Got a traffic light. So the interstate just randomly ends over here. Eisenhower, Edwin C. Johnson Memorial Tunnel. Nice. Look at that. Look at this, man. Oh, that's cool. They got, like, arrows and stuff. There's Den Colorado State Police, Eisenhower Tunnel, 1973. That's cool. Little fire truck in front there. That is, this is nice. I've also noticed on uh, Facebook groups that I'm in for Colorado is that there's some certain, like, um, Easter eggs um, for this DLC as well. So, I'm not sure where they are. I know that there is a South Park one where there's four um, garbage cans and a dumpster that are replicating South Park. I'm not quite sure where it's at. But if we do find it, I will definitely be showing it off in a video if I figure out where it is. Discovered a new viewpoint up here. Truck brake check. Okay, this is different. There's the viewpoint right there. White River National Forest. Trucks are 35 miles an hour. Ooh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Something shoulder. Didn't know what that even said. So we're going to slow down to 35 here. Runaway truck ramp is in 15 miles. So we are going to be hitting a lot of curves up here. So this is going to be a little bit of a longer video than I thought it was going to be. But look at all the sights, man. That's beautiful, that forest over there. So we got a trucker hauling double slowing everybody down up here. I'm going to set my cruise out to 37. Actually, I probably shouldn't because everyone's going slow up here. This dude's getting on the brakes as well. Man, this is insanely, insanely beautiful. Look at that. Look at the mountains back there, man. Those look nice. Look at those. Oh, should have moved over, but I don't think we can. Runaway truck ramp is in 2,000 feet, but yet it said it was 15 miles back there, so I don't think... I don't think that was 15 miles, unless game... in the game it is. And that is one thing I do want to actually do one of these days, is go up the runaway truck ramp and see exactly, like, what it does. Like, I know it goes all the way up, so it's supposed to technically stop you, and then you probably just put your brakes on. Um, you guys see the boulders up there, so hopefully you don't make it to the top to where, um, your, uh, trucks you are not down yet, one more hill, something like that. Yeah, I couldn't really read the sign, but I know it said we're not down yet, so there's one more steep hill. So we'll probably just have to keep going 35 for another few, uh, another few miles. Falling rocks, okay. I feel like that would be something cool that they, if they would add is like falling rocks onto the roads. So like the roads closed, you got to do a detour or something like that. I feel like that would be super cool to do. All right, so we're ending that 35 so we can go faster now. So we can go up to 60 now. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I was definitely not expecting that. But that's cool though. You got to go like 60 or 35 on that. That's pretty cool on that little stretch of highway there. That's awesome, man. This is freaking beautiful. Just look at these sights, man. Coming into Alamosa. Once we get up on this turn over here, I'm actually going to take a 
grab a thumbnail because those are some beautiful looking forests, man. I want to try to get those forests in the background. So once we get up on this curve over here, I'll go ahead and do that. USBB, US Beverages and Bottling. Alright, I will be back. Alright, so we do got a screenshot. I got that Crown Vic in there too, which is nice. It doesn't show a lot of trees, but it does show um, that we're actually in a forest. I'm going to get on the Jake's over here. State law, keep right, something except a park. Or a pass, not park, pass. But yeah, that's another thing, like, 50 coming up on the Eagle River. But yeah, that is another thing, like, um, people don't understand that the right lane is your driving lane, and the left lane is your passing lane, so you're not supposed to drive in the left lane. I could not read what that sign said. Uh, Glenwood Canyon, Colorado River, coming up across Colorado River, fellas. Nice. Look at that beautifulness up here, man. Oh, that is beautiful down there. Got some houses and stuff. Got the mountains. Man, that is breathtaking. And here we go, running through the mountains here. Running through the mountains. But yeah, nice little drive through the Rocky Mountains here. Very nice. Got a 50 mile an hour zone. Very nice. Look at this views, guys. Look at all of this stuff, man. This is amazing. And we got a tunnel up here. Man, this is just fantastic. SCS Software, you guys did an amazing job on this DLC. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is beautiful. I'm glad we ended up going through a daytime run because I was about ready to get down here at night. It's about 6.30, so we're almost, it's almost nighttime. But luckily we came up through the Rockies here during the, during the daytime where we still have a little bit of sunlight left. That's nice, man. That is nice. I'm going to go ahead and put on... Oh, I guess I had my secondary lights on. Speed limit 50 on that digital sign back there. Man, this is breathtaking. going to look up over here, man. Look at that. I'm wondering if those arrows on the tunnels... We've got a new viewpoint as well, man. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm wondering if, like, it'll show a red light whenever, like, the tunnel's closed. If, like, snow or something along those lines or whatever. Don't know. But I do also want to view this... During the winter times, so we will definitely be doing another um, trek down this highway once I put the winter mod in, which would be soon. I'm going to try to wait till we get December, between December and January to put all the new um, treks and stuff in, or put the snow mod and stuff into my games and stuff. Um, but man, look how tall that is, man. Look at that. <laughs> that is cool. That is super cool. So many call boxes on the side of the road here too. Probably needed if you get stranded up here. It's dangerous. It's definitely dangerous, but it is beautiful as well. So you got some nice scenery to look at as well. But once we get up 45 mile an hour curve ahead, okay, it's not bad. Once we get up here to Grand Junction, we're going to be taking a right. And we're going to be heading up to uh, Ray Rangley. Rangley, I believe. Rangley? Yeah, Rangley. Colorado but man this is definitely beautiful definitely 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 beautiful I am so glad I purchased this DLC like it's amazing it really is I know I keep talking about it what was that I heard a train oh there's a, is there a train I hear a train unless it's underneath us Ooh. Don't want to be doing that. Accidentally hit the parking brake on the keyboard. Finger slipped off the Jake brake there. Seems like everyone's slowing down, so we're going to start slowing down with everyone else. Colorado Springs, or Grand Junction. We were just in Colorado Springs. That's where we came from. Looks like we're staying up here. Definitely staying up here. Man, oh man, oh man. So we're pretty much almost out of the Rockies. I believe we're almost out of the Rockies. But you get a mountain still up there too, man. Those look nice. Back when I was a kid, and, um, my family, like my mom and my stepdad, we were supposed to go up here to Colorado um, to visit the Rocky Mountains and stuff. But then we all agreed to just go to Florida, go to the beach instead. Um, but we were supposed to head up here to the Rockies. 
kind of wish we did because we always went to Florida. Like, every, pretty much every summer we took a trip down to Florida. Um, we used to take trips, like, pretty much every summer. We used to go to, like, Wisconsin. Uh, Florida was the main one. These would all be road trips. So, on the way home, we kind of go up from Florida, travel up through Virginia, and kind of just take the long way home. I can't believe that Caprice actually cut me off. But then again, I can because, you know, people are dicks like that. But speaking about it, the other, or yesterday actually, um, there was a truck. It was a car hauler that was coming up behind me in the left-hand lane. And there was a semi in front of me. Well, the, I believe it was like a reefer trailer. Now, I don't know what possessed this semi to go in the left-hand lane. But he, there was like no cars in front of him, nothing. He was going about 65 because that might have been what his truck was governed to. But I don't know what possessed him to change lanes. But he ended up changing lanes in front of the car hauler. Over the limit? No, I don't think so. I don't think we're over the limit. But yeah, he decided to change lanes in front of this car hauler. As to where the car hauler had to basically not slam on his brakes. But he did have to slow down drastically because he was going the speed limit. And he had to slow down to about 60-ish or so. Man, some nice tunnels here. Oh, look at this. This is nice. And I don't know what possessed the trucker to do it, but he did it. So much of the fact that I ended up slowing down um, just so that trucker can change lanes and pass him. Like, I don't know what possessed the reefer driver to do that, but he did it instead. So I ended up slowing down. And I did the thing where, like, you know, truckers talk whenever you can, like, you know, change back into your own lane. Like, you know, flip the high beams and then like that. I did that to let him know he can, you know, go in front of me. And he did it. And then I'm guarantee you he either flipped off the reefer driver. Look at that accident right there. He either, I don't know what he did. Probably had some exchange of words through the window or whatever. But the dry van or the reefer driver ended up going back after he passed. And then, of course, I ended up passing him because he was going 65 and then I was going 70. So, I ended up passing him. And here we are coming in the nighttime, so let's go and turn on our headlights here. We've got another accident up here, man. That's two accidents within, like, a stretch of, like, a couple miles, man. That's crazy. Grand Junction, here we go. Coming in at Grand Junction here. Okay, so here we go. Coming back in here, and we're going to take a right and head up to Rangley from here. It was going to be a little bit of a longer trip than I expected, but it's okay. Definitely okay. Let me get on our jakes here, because it seems like everyone is slowing down. Which is definitely not a good sign. We got a pickup truck trying to get on, so I'm going to go ahead and change lanes so he can get in. I think we're good. Yeah, we'll be alright. Just get back in our own lane here. I'm going to go ahead and slow down because there's a major curve coming up here, and everyone else looks like they're on their brakes. So it looks like we're going to hit nighttime here. Um. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull off so that we're actually running in the daytime instead of in the nighttime. I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off here at a truck stop and then we'll go ahead and just do that so that we're not, you know, driving through Colorado at night. But we are turning up here it looks like. And we'll kind of go ahead and fuel up and stuff because we don't normally fuel up in these videos anymore we haven't fueled up in a while that's because we never really need fuel because I always get these trucks and they're always like brand new full of fuel and all that fun stuff so typically I never really never have to fuel up but we are going to be turning right up here hopefully there is a truck stop up the road. If not, then we'll just continue on our journey. So we got cars coming. 
He kind of, did you know, did you see that? He kind of stuttered a little bit. He's like, you know what, I want to turn, but I don't want to turn. Are you turning too? No, but he's going to stop. Okay, he might be waiting on that truck, so I'm just going to go. He might just not have a blinker. Yeah, look at that blinker on the mirror, man. That is cool. I've never noticed that. Unless it is part of an update. Is he following me? I can't tell if he's following me or not. Here we are coming into Loma. Loma. Nice one one house town. About to say one horse town, but it's a pretty much a two house town. Damn. They're probably all na their neighbors. They're probably family. That's cool though. That is cool. There actually is a town in Illinois that only has like 10 people. I actually drove through it one time. I'm heading over to my ex's house when I was still dating her at the time. It was a town that had 10 people. I'm like, that is cool. That is, I've never, never knew that there were towns like that that exist. That really actually existed. Looks like we're going to be coming up on a lot of curves up here, man. Colorado, if you want to, you know, drive on a bunch of curvy roads, not like your typical California where it's all straight, I would definitely recommend checking out Colorado. Go down that million dollar highway, um, go through the Rockies like we just did, man, and then come up this road. Go up uh, whatever road we're even on. I don't even know. I know it's not a interstate. It's a town. It's a county or a state highway. Should be a sign coming up soon for it. I'm would assume looks like 139 on looks like on the map there I'm not sure what that is but it's probably telling you know that the roads closed or something like that so it is 40 through here so I'm gonna go ahead and slow down drastically because I'm not trying to be tipping this trailer over I also don't want to be getting in anyone else's lane either so it's 25 through here okay We can do just that. I guarantee the folks behind me are going to be pissed off, but, you know, rather be safe than sorry. I don't want to tip my truck over because then, you know, none of them will be getting to their destination. And then we're all going to have a bad time, which, you know, none of us want to have a bad time. We all want to have a good time. Oh, we got 15 on this one, man. Man, this is, uh, whew, man, I can't even see. Man, this is a crazy one. I'm going to turn on the high beams here. Hopefully no cars are coming through because I'm not going to be able to see nothing, man. This is a really winding curve, man. Make sure we get over just a lot so that we're not, our trailer doesn't swing into the other lane here. There we go. Don't want to make sure we get in the... I don't want to make sure we... Ugh, I don't want to get in the grass either. Well, we've got another 15 curve coming up here. Man, this is insane. This is definitely intense. I think we got a car coming up. Yeah, we do. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, well, all the curves are down... All the curves are pretty much done. Still 25. This looks like a little work van up here. I thought it was UPS at first, but it's not. Can't pass anything. Got a reflector over there. Got a flashing light for something. Looks like a construction zone. Yeah, it's a little construction zone. Got a place to pull off over here. And that's one of the things that I really wish. Cattle guard. Trucks use low gear. Okay, so we're going to slow down for the cattle guard here. That was a bump. Look at that nice little Peterbilt, I think. Down there. It's still 25 through here, so we're going to be definitely going 25. I 
you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to open up the windows and let you guys listen to the game instead of me blabbing on. Whoa, dude, you're slamming on your brakes hardcore there, man. Yeah, I don't know what this dude's deal is, but he passed him. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and put up the windows because... There we go. Still don't know what this dude's deal is. It says it's 65, but nobody's going 65. Got another cattle guard up here. Ooh. One thing I noticed is that it don't bump for the cars. Like, the cars weren't even bumping. The trucks are. My truck was, but the cars aren't. I find that pretty interesting. Man, we're barely getting up to 45 here. But there's Rangley coming up on the GPS, so we're getting close to Rangley here. Like I said, I'm definitely excited to put the snow mod in here and drive down the million dollar highway again. In the snow and drive through the Rockies again in the snow. Except this time, I think we're going to go the op... Well, actually, no, I... We shouldn't go the opposite direction, because I don't know how good the views are going to be from the opposite direction. But maybe. Maybe. Go straight Going straight on. Will do. There was really nowhere to turn there anyway, so looks like we're going to be taking a right or a left up here. I don't know if we're going to be taking the left or if the road just turns left. Looks like it turns left, so we'll be taking up Junction 64 here. Get ready to turn right. That is exactly what we're doing. Even though I think she said right, we're going left to Rangley, not Meeker. Really got on the Jakes over there. That guy's going to Meeker, and we're going to Rangley. No oh, state patrol. Oh, they also got the state patrol cars. Um, to the paint schemes they have. That is really cool. It's like that's the older Colorado with the Crown Vicks, and then the newer ones are on like the FPIU, FPIUs and stuff. That is cool. Welcome to Rangley. Little school bus over there, just in an awkward spot. We got 30 mile an hour through here, and welcome to Rangley, everyone. Kind of sad we're coming through here at night. But sometimes it is what it is, and we're going to do a night drop at the uh, oil plant up here. There's another little shepherd's in. I feel like that's like a Colorado a staple to Mr. Porky's over there. Drake Car Center. Yeah, we're taking a left at the next road, it looks like. There's a tidbit right there. Turning left, okay. Right here? Can't be right here. Down a dirt road, okay. Turn on my high beams for this, for sure. Rough road, okay. Definitely going to be some rough road up here. I know if you go on, um, if you're a truck driver in real life and you have to travel, um, I-72 in Illinois, there is a major stretch of rough road on the interstate, which still has a speed limit of 70 miles an hour, but it is the bumpiest interstate that you could ever go on, and I'm talking this is an interstate, and there's a sign before it gets to the rough road that says rough road four miles, but if you are a truck driver, and you are driving through that do make sure you go in the left lane 
because that is the least bumpiest. The right lane on both sides is the worst. So if you're going both sides, you make sure you guys do the left lane. Um, anybody that drives that highway knows to go to the left lane, so it might be a little bit slower if you're trying to go a little bit faster than 70. But anyone that knows that stretch of highway, um, definitely, definitely will uh, be in that left lane. I know I try to go in the left lane when I can. Um, other truck drivers that are out of that Springfield, Decatur area that drive that highway all the time know exactly as well that it is a um, better in the left lane than it is right in the front lane. And they really want it right here. Okay, well, they want it right on the fence there. That's, um, was definitely not expecting that. Luckily, we have a day cab, so we can maneuver um, a little bit easier, but damn, son. Was not expecting them to want it, like, right there. Okay. Go ahead and back her up here. Actually, there was, this happened yesterday, like, at the, uh, at the hub. There was a semi that was trying to uh, back into one of the bays at our uh, warehouse. Or not, where it's not really a warehouse, it's more of a hub. Because it doesn't really do warehouse stuff. We just receive the packages and throw packages um, in a, a tote. And then they just go out to the next day. So it's kind of, it's classified as a warehouse, but they don't really do much warehouse duties. As like a standard warehouse would do. Um, we're gonna have to definitely realign this up a little bit more. But, Semi was trying to back into the bay, and, like, there were other drivers that were, like, you know, waiting and stuff for him to do his backup job. But there was this one van that completely, like, plowed through all the other ones, just passed them, and then parked right where the Semi was going to back into the bay. The semi-driver honked, the driver didn't take no avail, got out of her van, and uh, started unloading her van. semi-driver actually came out and started yelling at her, saying, hey, I'm trying to park here, I gotta park right there, you need to move. She got all, oh, she got all pissed off about it, it was actually kind of funny. Um, but she ended up having to go back in line to the other vans, is what the uh, lot owners were telling her. So... But we're going to have to readjust ourselves on this one as well. Luckily, we have room up front here to do that. There we go. I feel like what I'm going to try to do is for the next episode, uh, I'm going to try to run out some air. And um, we'll try to run some air out so that, or not air, um, fuel so that we can actually do a refuel and maybe even a stop. So we have to like stop to, uh, you know, rest and stuff. I feel like that's something we'll do. We'll kind of start out at night. And then we'll go find a truck stop after we pick up and whatnot. Or before we even pick up. And uh, we'll go rest, fuel up our truck and everything. And there we go. Set the parking brake. Trailer's all lined up perfectly. We're a little bit crooked on the tractor, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and... Enter the load. Hold on a second. Oh, I gotta turn off the truck. That's right. Forgot you have to turn off the truck to unload it. But check that out. Got an excellent 449 miles. Just a tad bit under that um, SES uh, thing they're doing with the paint job. Special paint job for the 18 wheels of steel. So we're trying to do a longer load. Maybe next time. We got $23,685. 960 XP took us about an hour and 41 minutes in game time so it's about 40 about 50 minutes real time an hour and 41 game time and 89.1 gallons of fuel all right guys well that's going to go ahead and do it for this one i hope you guys did enjoy make sure you guys hit the like button and that subscribe button make sure you guys follow me on twitter as well as join the discord server i will catch you guys here on the next video peace